हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ क्रोपाथ एंड सेलेक्टर सर टुडे वील लर्न समथिंग रियली न्यू एंड एन न्यू इनोवेशन हैज बीन एडेड इन सेलेक्टर सब नाउ वी कैन फैच द टेक्स्ट एंड एट्रीब्यूट वैल्यूज थ्रू एक्सपाथ यूजिंग सेलेक्टर सब एज वेल एज वी कैन फाइंड आउट total matching node based on attribute availability yes we know that we can fetch the node or web elements based on like attribute is equal to attribute value but just on availability of attribute so let's learn about these things and how this feature is going to help you and what is this new innovation which has been added in selector sub so for an example here suppose you want first let's talk about the text thing suppose you want text of all the headers in this page so let's say just let's inspect this element and open selector sub so i hope how to use selector sub and where you can find the selector sub and everything basics if you are new to selector sub please check out the detailed tutorial at this youtube channel as well as like uh, here on selector sub link you click on this there you go watch the detailed tutorial okay now coming to this point that we want all the h3 tags header tags here in this page their text we want so what how we can do it like double forward slash h3 and this is the syntax like now this way we find out that how many h3 are there on this page now we want to know how many h3 are there which has the text and what are their text so just forward slash you know that syntax like text is equal to you we used to write like let's say abc right this is the way now what you have to do here if you want to find out text of all h3s and basically those h3 which has the text just press enter you see there are three elements matching and these are the text of those h3 so good is it isn't it for an example suppose you inspect this element let's say and this is the element okay and uh, you want the text of this element so you have this x path for of this element right so what you have to do whatever x path you have if you have the x path of that element you have to just add text over there at the last and it will give you the text of that particular element so if you have any x path and you want the text value of that uh, particular element for that x path you just add forward slash text in that this way you would be able to get the text it is really simple and really useful it is really useful in case of web scrapping right suppose you want all the links on the page those which has the text so what you do double forward slash a you got all the links now you want those links which has the text and their text value you just double forward slash a and text suppose if you go to like amazon website those kind of uh, and you want to is uh, like <clears throat> scrap the data and those kind of stuff that you can do it like really quick you write some common x path for some kind of uh, like any particular ki kind of things which you want to fetch from the amazon website and then you just like uh, do whatever you want right like you want uh, text or like product names basically you want so what you can do <laughs> like here this is span so you want all the span tag text so this way you can fetch all of them so simple now coming to the attribute values let's say you want all the attribute uh, you want the attribute value of any particular element okay like you want id so how can we get the id of an element or like let's say you want particular attribute you have some x path let's say uh, we have this x path he over here for this element okay now suppose you want the uh, class of this element or some value of this x path right so you just have to add add the 
add when i'm saying add it is a double d add so uh, append here at the rate class that attribute name basically and you will get the attribute value suppose uh, you want the uh, for any element whatever you want you can just start uh, add that attribute at the last and you will get the attribute value here as well as the matching node now this looks really simple okay just suppose you right click here and you got any x path you have basically any x path like this right click and let me copy the x path from here copy x path paste it here so this x path we have okay this is this is an x path of some element over here let's say and now you want uh, some value of this element okay let's say you want the class of this element you have to just add the at the rate class in the, in the end and you will get the class of this particular x path for this particular x path elements class you will get here as well as the matching so this is how you can get the attribute value of elements suppose you want class of all the links in this page so what you do double forward slash a forward slash at the rate class you get all the classes you want title all the titles of link title at the rate title you got all the titles so simple it is now really important thing here the good concept is find out the matching node based on the attribute availability so so far we all know that if we want to write an x path for any element suppose we want to write the x path for this element how we will write double forward slash a here and then type at the rate title is equal to uh, title is equal to docs right so this is simple now my question is like i want to write an x path for all those links which has the title okay so how we will do double forward slash a and i want to write the x path for all the links in this page i want all the links in this page which has the title so double forward slash a at the rate title just type title press enter you will get all the links on this page which has title there are 10 links which has titles and these are the titles titles of those links so good it is such a good finding right suppose you ask me question tell me all the links on this page which has the how many links on this page has the id so what i will do double forward slash a forward slash at the rate id press enter i got there is only one link on this page which has the id and this is the value of id for that link and now if you want to write the x path or you want to find out that particular element over here you just write like this and this is the that link that particular element which has the id is equal to cc button so it like <coughs> our question was we were supposed to find out all the links in this page which has the id attribute there's only one if you ask me how many uh, find out all the links which has title this way like this it's very simple if you find uh, ask me like how many divs are there which has some particular kind of attribute let's say class or id how many divs are there which has the id i can easily we can easily figure it out so so simple it is so useful it is i hope you find found this feature really useful do share with your friends and if you want any feature do let me in the comment if any specific feature you want me to add up uh, add in add or improve in selectors of feel free to add in the comment comment here in the in this video i will add more innovative feature and i will keep sharing my knowledge and advanced feature and advanced techniques on xpath and automation you can subscribe to the channel as well as i will really request you guys please share selectors of with everyone uh, i have stopped supporting and development on crow path you will not get any further update on that so please switch upgrade to selector sub share selector sub this is a new reality and there are amazing feature and lots of feature keep coming don't forget to add your review for selector sub please rate this and this will be really helpful do check out our sponsor test project they are supporting us sponsoring us and uh, 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच